magical friends, I'm Calmingo! Now in today's video, we are going to be taking an exclusive Adopt Me quiz from Adopt Me! But before we get into that, if you can do me a quick favor, make sure that you're subscribed and you like the video, that would mean the world to me. But let's go ahead and get started! So I was loading it taught me, and I noticed I had a brand new pop-up that said, Would you like to share some feedback with us for 50 bucks? And you know, that's a lot of money. I know I could definitely use some more money. But this seems like a lot of fun, and from what I can tell, there are going to be some really cool questions inside of here. So let's go ahead, and let's start off with this feedback quiz. So the first question is, is how did you first hear about Adopt Me? So the options are Adopt Me website, friends, don't know, TikTok, Roblox app slash website, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. So the first time I heard about Adopt Me was definitely on the Roblox app slash website because I was going on the popular list and Adopt Me was up there with a bunch of players as usual. This was a long time ago, but shortly after that I saw a bunch of YouTube videos and even some Twitter things on it too. Is Adopt Me your favorite Roblox game? For sure, Adopt Me is one of my most favorite Roblox games right now. It's a bunch of fun. How do you rate Adopt Me compared to other games? One through five. Five is the best. Hmm, this is this is a hard one because Adopt Me is a lot of fun, but there are definitely some other games that have some stuff that's a little bit better. So I think I'm gonna give it like a 4.9, maybe? I wish I could give like an exact number. So let's go ahead and let's answer four for now. Would you recommend Adopt Me to a friend, yes or no? For sure, I have been playing Adopt Me. It is a bunch of fun, and the newest pets are just absolutely adorable. I've been opening up a ton of mythic eggs. Trying to get all the mythics and the gold horns, too. I even recently opened a gold horn, which I'm super excited about. But yes, I highly recommend playing this game. What other games do you play on Roblox? Okay, there's a bunch of options here. There is Meat City, Royal High, Pet Simulator, Bed Wars, MM2, Livetopia, Bloxburg, and Brookhaven. So in the past, I've definitely played a bunch of Murder Mystery 2, Pet Simulator, and Meat City. And I've also played a little bit of Bloxburg. I haven't played these games a whole bunch, so I'm not gonna tick them because I don't, I don't really play a lot of these, but I've definitely at one point played a lot of at least these games. Do you play any of these non-Roblox games? So there's browser games, I guess that means like Flash games or whatever the new ones are. There's a mobile games, I definitely play a lot of mobile games. Fortnite, I don't play a lot of Fortnite. Among Us, I played a lot of Among Us when it first got super popular, it was a bunch of fun. And last option is Minecraft, yes I've played a lot of Minecraft, Minecraft is a bunch of fun. I think I'm also gonna take browser games too, because I've played a lot of like that offline dinosaur game. It gets so stressful, it gets really fast, but it is still a bunch of fun. There's even other cool Google games like Steak and stuff. So we're gonna take browser games, mobile games, and Minecraft. Do you play Adopt Me with friends? Yes, no, not sure. Yes, I play Adopt Me with a bunch of people. I love it when y'all join me in game. I don't play it a whole bunch, but whenever I join, y'all always seem to join. And it's always so much fun. But let's see, next question. Do you play Adopt Me with real life family? I really wish it was a sometimes option because I sometimes come in here and like mess around with my parents in it because they do find it very funny sometimes. But I'm guessing I'll just go ahead and press yes. What is your favorite things to do inside of Adopt Me? So there is exploring, and exploring is a bunch of fun. There's a lot of really cool things you can find around the map. And the first time I found like the neon room right below the bridge, I was like, what? There's a hidden room here? So that was definitely a bunch of fun doing that too. So I definitely love exploring. And look at this next one is finding secrets. I literally just explained that. I love finding little secret rooms around the map, like the neon room or like the little hidden room over in the over by the forest. That is a bunch of fun. Digging houses is also a lot of fun. I don't do a bunch of digging inside this game, but I still find it to be really fun to do. There is trading. I definitely do a bunch of trading. I'm not the best at it. I don't do like super high value trades, but whatever I do is always a bunch of fun. Collecting pets. Yes, I love collecting pets. Making neons. Okay, I have been working on a bunch more neons lately. I'm trying my best to find a bunch of time to make all these pets into neons and mega neons. I'm really slow at it though, but it is still a bunch of fun. So definitely taking that. 
Playing with friends. No, okay. I I'm not clicking that one. Playing with friends is so bad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Playing with friends is also so magical, especially when you all join me and follow me in game. It's always so cool. And the last one is role playing. I don't do a whole bunch of role playing, but I do sometimes mess around. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take this as messing around with a bunch of people too. Uh, but there you go. That is that question. I, pr I pretty much selected everything. Everything is selected for this one. And let's see, the next question is, which of these do you play games on? Laptop, I'll select that. Desktop PC. There's Xbox One, PS5, Nintendo Switch, tablet, Xbox Series X, and phone. Okay, looks like a phone too, because I also play on my mobile sometimes. But let's go ahead and move on to the next question is, do you play games on Steam? I have played like two games on Steam, so that's like a maybe for me. Do you watch live streams? Oh, yes, I do occasionally watch live streams. Which site do I watch them on? I mainly watch them on YouTube. Let's see, next question is, what platforms do you watch TV slash movies on? Okay, there's, a, there's a bit of a spelling mistake there. But it says Netflix, I do not watch any Netflix. I do watch Disney Plus. I used to watch a bunch of Cartoon Network. I, of course, I watch YouTube. There's Nickelodeon. I haven't watched Nickelodeon in a long time. There's also Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Max. I'm guessing also this take Nickelodeon. But I do occasionally watch TV shows and movies like on all these platforms. So I'm definitely sucking all those but Netflix because I do not have a Netflix. Netflix account. But let's see, next question says, did you know the Uplift Games develops Adopt Me? Yes, I do know that. They used to go under Dreamcraft, but now they go under Uplift Games instead, which is a really good name. And oh, this is the last question. Anything you'd like to tell us? Yes, I would. I'm gonna say I have a bunch of fun with Adopt Me because I do. And I cannot wait to see all the new items in the gift boxes, which I'm pretty sure is coming in like a day or two. I think this Friday we're getting a brand new gift box set and even a brand new vehicle inside. Even though I don't own all the vehicles, I'm still missing like most of them from this batch. But we're getting a brand new vehicle too, which I am really hoping I get. I have a bunch of gifts prepared. But let's go ahead and finish, and now I have my 50 bucks. I know exactly what I'm going to spend this on. I'm going to spend it on a $50 hot dog. This is definitely the best thing to spend it on. Mmm, you can definitely taste the overpriceness of the hot dog. That, that, that definitely has a good overpriced taste to it. But let me know in the comments, if you can get any tool added to the game, what would you add? Personally, I would try to add all of the cow items. Obviously, as you can tell, I think it would look really good with me. We are getting some brand new toys inside the gifts, and I do have a bunch of gifts prepared for that video. And I'll be able to buy a bunch more too. So definitely look out for that video because it is going to be so exciting. But thank you so much for being here, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye!